Hi, I'm Marie Haley, and I was the partner of Merle Regal for 35 years. I met him in Santa Monica, and I saw that he had a great word sense, memory sense, and I knew, he actually met him and he, he had, was wearing a t-shirt, and he said, the world's greatest crossword constructor. And I had to know who he was and what that could possibly be about. So I started out our first meeting was like a interview and over the years I got to know why he was so good at the craft of crosswords. Um, he, he made a lot of crosswords that were full of puns, wordplay. He sort of set a new standard for just enjoying uh, solving puzzles. His greatest pleasure was when he would hear people get the joke tell them about it and say they laughed out loud and even better when they called their friends who were also doing the same crossword and being able to talk about it. He always wanted the crossword to live off the page and be part of people's conversations and he certainly got his wish. Well, uh, tell me about the award. What is the award for? The award is for people that are sort of followed in Merle's footsteps they're people that took the, the creative possibilities of crosswords to the same level as Merle. They, they dedicate a lot of their time. This is a Lifetime Achievement Award. It's not for just one crossword, it's for a lifetime of craft in the field. You see, exploring all the possibilities of extending the field, making the language that we all share have a life, and a life even off the page. Okay, who's the winner this year? Uh, the winner is Manny Nasowski, an absolutely superb crossword puzzle maker, somebody that Merle deeply admired. And I know that as Merle is looking down on this award tonight, he's going to have two thumbs up for the picking of Manny Nasowski. We know he was great, and we are so pleased that he is the second winner of the award. Who made the snow globe? Snow Globe was made in Omaha, Nebraska by a man who makes all sorts of globes, even for celebrities. Uh, they're, they're, they're one of a type. And we took about four months of working back and forth with him. A lot of emails, a lot of phone calls, till we finally crafted the look that we wanted. Tell me, tell me about him, why he's sitting in a chair and, and what is he doing? He's sitting, well, Merle did, did a lot of his uh, crosswords, sitting in a chair, working on a clipboard. He could, he didn't need a computer to construct crosswords. He could do all the crosses in his head. Uh, he was, uh, even as a young child, he liked to sit in a big old-fashioned armchair with a big dictionary at his, on his, on his uh, lap and books piled up next to him. So you're basically seeing him in the type of environment he was the most comfortable in to, for thinking, for making puzzles, for uh, pouring, pouring himself through crossword or dictionaries. Uh, what's the best thing that uh, crossword constructors and solvers can do to help Merle's name live on? Uh, probably to uh, talk about him, uh, share their love of Merle's work by sending out the puzzles to friends, telling the fact, the fact that Merle's puzzles appear every single week on uh, a website, sundaycrosswords.com. Uh, Merle's still in uh, 35 newspapers across the country, so he's available in uh, newspapers. And there isn't a day, practically, that goes by that somebody isn't asking uh, for Merle's work and talking about how much they miss having him every single Sunday to work through his puzzles and to have him and his mind in their mind. Thank you.